freshmen kind of blended in with you guys as far as just kind of cohesiveness? Uh, I think good. I think uh, this year is different because we're, we're all like one big unit, one big family, because uh, we're more closer in age. So, uh, you know, Moses is athletic around the rim, Duncan. Jules, you know, aggressive scoring. David shoots it, uh, screens really good, plays hard. Uh, Tiger got hurt, Reef went down. Uh, Kenny, he rebounds and uh, finishes well. A six, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it should be six. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I think everyone's doing really well. We're blending well. Do you consider Cody and Jalen part of that class in a way since they're kind of new to college basketball now? I mean, yeah, we have a lot of new people that haven't played in college basketball this year, but in terms of, you know, just they're, they're still sophomores to the sophomore class because they've been with us. But we have a lot of people that haven't played, like Coach said, a tick of college basketball yet, so that would be different. Coach Alfred was talking about your increased stuff as a colleague this year. How much of that is just Yeah, just a lot of work in the weight room for me. Uh, also, just watching a lot of film, you know, being able to uh, have the whole combine experience. It shows me how much uh, physicality is a part of the game. So just trying to blend that in with what I do well already. So it is a big deal for me. Was it a different kind of weight room emphasis for you this year, knowing what you needed to improve on compared to what you did last year? Definitely. Uh, in the spring, I took a lot of a big advantage of it. In the summer, me and Wes actually did uh, two days. So just to work on that, I got a lot better and bigger in the weight room. Did you want to improve on last year? Uh, my biggest thing I wanted to improve on was decision making. Uh, so just making the right passes, the right reads, uh, more consistently, being able to shoot better off the dribble, taking care of the ball, uh, and just really being an overall leader for the team. Do you feel like you have to be more pass oriented? Uh, you know, I still want to play my game, play the way I play, but I know what I have to do to be able to make sure to get the team going. You know, it's not just about me. It's not just about, you know, Chris or any other individual on the team. It's a team thing. So just be able to get the whole team going, whatever I got to do to get wins. How do you think Chris, Wilkes, or Chris Smith is done kind of handling that, that point position? I think he's done good. Uh, you know, Chris always could handle. He just, uh, Chris Smith could always handle. It's just more just being in that situation. You know, he's a bigger guy, so a lot of smaller guards are going to look to pressure him. Just, just taking care of that and just keeping his cool. But he's been doing good for me, to me. And other people have been telling him he's been doing good, so he's been doing good. Jay, when you played with Aaron last year, do you see yourself taking his kind of role this year? Uh, well, Aaron was great last year. Just being able to play against him all last practice and watch him play this year. Uh, last year was great. Uh, but in terms of comparisons to like this year and last year, I mean, I guess, but, you know, everyone's different. So I wouldn't say I'm taking up his role or anything. What kind of focus have you had to uh, have on, your de on defense this year? Uh, much improved. We got Coach Bartow, so he's really on that, you know, with film, uh, practice, a lot of breakdowns. So it's a big difference. Uh, but for me, just just being more alert, uh, playing more physical, um, just being alert and playing more physical is the biggest thing to me for defensively. Defensively. Is there at all a difference in like the distribution of practice time, more time based on defense than the last year? There's a difference this year. Uh, we spend a lot more time defensively. Last year we did a lot of breakdown, but this year we have a lot more breakdown in specific parts. You know, whether it's rebounding and the way we close out, uh, the way we close out. I mean, the way we close out, the way we close out, the way we contest. Uh, the way we wall up, it's a lot more focused on little intricate details this year. I think I've grown an inch. Oh, wow. yeah, I'm seven two. What are you most excited about for starting your college career here at UCLA? I just want to get out here. I want to get with all my guys. I've built a relationship with my teammates, and I want us all to do well. And I want to, I want us all, like, we have a lot of chemistry on court. I can't wait to have Jalen throw me a bunch of alleys, have Jay Hill dunk and stuff down, me being hype for him, and just for, for it to be, like, for all of us to be excited for each other. I can't wait for that. What did you learn about yourself since going to practice here and learning against guys like Jalen? I've learned that I have a lot to work on. I've learned that as long as I listen to coach, he's going to put me in the right spots where I need to be for me to be successful because he knows what he's talking about. He knows way more than I do, so. That's really good. Coach Steve Alford been there, done that. <laughs> you talk about having a good relationship with your teammates. Do you lose two, two of your freshmen before the season even starts? How does the team kind of process that news that Sharif came out and then told you now? I mean, we all, we all are strong. We all know what it takes, and we're just optimistic for them to come back as, as fast as possible. We know, we know they know what it takes to get back on the court, so we're not really uh, sad about that. We, but we're going to be all right, though. Those are my guys. They're going to be straight. Biggest difference from high school to college? 
Uh, definitely more practice, having to lift every day uh, during the summer, uh, something to get used to. I know I trained a lot back home, but getting in the gym with Coach West is definitely different in the way he trained me. Um, uh, they feed us here after practice. Like they make sure we get our meals in. I've I've been weighing 250 ever since. So this is this is really a good place for me to just grow and expand. Chris, how's your role kind of changed with the, the Tiger and Um As of lately, I've been playing point guard for the second group. So um, I've been trying to fill in Tiger's shoes uh, as best as I could. Um, and just to help the team out in practice because other than Tiger, we really had no other true point guard. So I've been trying to do my best to do the job he was doing before what happened happened. How do you think it's gone? Um, it's been all right. It's been a learning, it's been a learning curve. Um, I've just been trying to make sure I keep my turnovers down uh, and just be simple. Don't try to do anything extra, you know, get into the plays and uh, make sure everybody's doing the right thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Expectation for this group this season? Um, uh, we got a great group this season. Uh, got a lot of length, a lot of size. Um, big Moses, 7-2. Got Big J Hill coming back. Um, Chris and I, um, even Jay Hans at a point guard, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, six, his arms. Um, so I think we'll be pretty special. Um, we got a nice group. We're young, not much experience, but I mean, as soon as these guys get their feet wet, I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty good. Uh, how have you felt they've kind of blended in as a freshman? <clears throat> uh, the freshmen have come in, and uh, they've done their best job so far. Um, I mean, doing everything they're asked of uh, so far, I think they're perfect teammates. Um, they're falling right in spot, and I can see that we're going to have a great year if they keep it up. Um, my shooting. Is, uh, I had a pretty tough year last year. Um, so my shooting, I've been putting an emphasis on that. Um, I worked on my ball handling, making sure I'm in better shape so I can uh, stay in for longer times and keep the same energy. Um, and just, uh, I guess, just learning everything, every possible position, everything, getting better on defense, just trying to solidify my all-around game, pretty much. Nothing that I really put the biggest emphasis on, but everything just all around pretty much. Coach was saying that uh, you haven't done a lot of point guard yet since Tiger went down, but do you envision that being something that you help this team out with? Yeah, I'm always, you got to be ready for everything in this level. So I'm always ready to uh, play point guard in case something happens to Chris or he wants to move down. But for right now, I'm just a shooting guard. What are you most excited about to make your college debut in you know, a, few, a few weeks? Uh, most excited about probably just be on the floor. Uh, it's, it's every kid's dream to play at the NCAA level, at the Division One level. So it's just a step on the floor in, in this jersey with this letters across my chest. You know, it takes a lot of pride for me. Wearing the number 34, what uh, just made you decide to get that? Uh, it was from my cousin. Uh, he passed away on the court on the East Coast. So he was wearing number 34 about two years ago. So that's why I. To, I changed my number from 21 to 34, and you know I played for him ever since. No, oh, his name was Cameron. Okay. Yeah. He, he, passed during the game. he passed like during the game, yeah. High school? Yeah, it was a high school game. Yeah. What are your expectations for this year, um, just for your team? Right and our team, I expect us to just to work hard and play to our potential. You know, if we if we play our best every game, we're focused every game. We're hard to beat. Uh, I definitely wanted to stay home, so I knew that was a key factor in my decision for college. But uh, and I, I felt UCLA was a better fit for me and my family. So we talked it over. It was obviously a long process, but in the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to uh, stay home in LA, and this was the best school for me. What have you shown some of the other guys, like Moses, he comes all the way from New York? What do you tell them? Uh, about LA? Uh, I, we, always, we always laugh and joke about the beaches because I know New York has beaches, but I, be, I tell them like our beaches are better. So I, I took them to Santa Monica Pier, I took them to Venice Beach, and I told them how um, there's a lot of stuff to do in LA. There's a lot of free stuff and a lot of expensive stuff to do in LA. So you just have to, uh, you have to manage.